Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at adding a soft glow effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, you've seen this effect used a lot. Um, a lot of times it's done in, in glamour um, photography, glamour video great for weddings, great for its very flattering kind of look. It can also be mysterious and misty, and uh, it's got a lot of uses. Now, if you look for a glow effect, you'll see two glow effects in Premiere Pro. The alpha glow is not going to work, and alpha is transparency, so it adds a glow, and it's a real synthetic glow. It doesn't even look real. It's just uh, like a, a, a duplicating of the edge, and it's not very good. But there's another one there that we can use that you might not expect that you can. Let's go have a look. In the effects, if we search for glow, we see the alpha glow, but there's also a VR glow for virtual reality files. But we're not using VR, we're using just standard 2D video. Doesn't matter, it still works. And it's accelerated. So with this clip selected, I'll just double click on it and add it, and in the effects controls, I have my controls. You might have to twirl that down and open it up. And you don't have to worry about the auto VR properties, but these are the things that we're gonna work with here. The Luma threshold, the Luma is the basic black and white um, of the, the image itself, how dark and how light it is. And a threshold is a, is a hard edge uh, between what you're changing and what you're not changing. In this particular um, clip, 0.9, you don't see anything. And as I start to lower that value, you'll see it start. So uh, I can just click over top of this, click and drag, and you'll see it starts to come up. It starts at the brightest parts. So the lights in the back are the brightest parts. So, hey, if you want that bokeh kind of effect to be ac accented, Maybe you can just throw that on and just that's going to give you that extra pop for the background. But we want it on her, so if I lower it a little bit more, you see it starts on her forehead because that's where the lightest part is and just by her eye and nose area here. Now I've already messed around with this and, and found a good value is 0.2 and the glow radius is how much it's glowing. So when we take that down, to zero, that's the hard edge, the threshold. It looks like a posturizing effect. But when you move that up, it starts to glow or really blur that uh, step between what is uh, in the threshold. Then how bright things are, and uh, value of one is very bright, and you can take it all the way up, almost looks like a cartoon effect, and you can take that between those uh, values there. And I found a value for this clip was 0.8, and the saturation was left at uh, one. So 0 0.2, 5.58, 0 0.8, and one. Let me turn that off and turn that on. Go to the beginning and we'll have a look at that. It's very flattering. Now this is obvious on this video. Your, 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 um, you know that this is an effect on here. So if you wanted to, you could take that, that uh, brightness down. So it could be just like that, very subtle. And here is another example too. Her face is even, whoops, her face is evenly brighter. So you'll see the effect showing up more so with her. Now, Trying to move these numbers with a mouse is really cumbersome. Of course, you can twirl this down and move this, but what might be easier um, is it, another way to change those numbers is to click inside and hold the Control key on Windows, Command on Mac, and then you can move those in smaller increments using the up and down arrow, just to get a better idea of how that looks. All right, here's another example. Uh, this one, if we look at the original, is a fairly dark image with, with parts of his face highlighted. 
And these, again, are the same settings. And I think they do a really good job um, of this glow. On, it adds a very distinct look to him. And if you look at the edge here, and we turn this on and off, you can see it's spilling past that skin tone into the dark. The more contrast you have in the image, I think the more that, that glow works. If it's really flat, it's basically like you're lightening up the whole thing. If it's really dark with only a few points, then you can really make that pop. Like a city shot. Let's look at this example here. And I'll turn that on and off. You can see it's very blown out, very dreamy quality. What I added to this also was a Lumetri effect. And you can get to the Lumetri effect here in basic light. And I brought the shadows down. And that makes the overall glow effect um, a little bit more high contrast. Uh, and it also just made it look more realistic. If, if I turn that off, turn both of these off, it's, a, it's fairly flat in the darks. And when I put the VR glow on, it's blowing out the darks a little bit too much. So if I bring those darks back, then I've got this um, much more interesting image. Okay. So those are, are examples of stylistic effects that are supposed to be a little bit more realistic. You're not supposed to really know that something is happening. I mean, if all your clips didn't have that and then one did, obviously it would be uh, too much. But now I want to show you how we can go right over the top. Have a look at this example. We've got green glows and they seem to have halos around them. Well, let's look at these settings. So my Luma threshold is here is at, at 0 0.90, 0 0.9, the glow radius at 83. Remember, when I step this down, it, it reduces the amount and the glow radius I've got up to here. And the glow brightness I've got up way high. So the default for that is one, but I'm going way beyond that to add this effect. And what really makes this interesting is below these settings here, use tint color and picking a tint color. So if you click in here, you can pick a tint color. By default, this is turned off and the glow is based on what color is there. So those orangey candles are just getting blown out and saturated more. I've got saturation up to 10 here. Uh, but if you use a color on this, then now your glow is a completely different color. And you can, of course, pick any color you want in here. So um, let's go to a more blue color. And you can see that actually blends in a little bit better. It's less uh, of a fantastic kind of look. But there you go. It's a simple one, but a useful one just to file away that uh, you may not be looking in the immersive video effects, but you can use any of those effects, uh, especially when they're accelerated. If you have a GPU that is fast enough, they all play back in real time and you can adjust them. And uh, again, use Lumetri effects to maybe adjust some things uh, before or after you add your effect. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly. Thank you to our wonderful donors. There's a whole bunch of free stuff for you to download. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to let you know that you can break the rules sometime and have some killer effects. Thank you.